Hello everybody and welcome back to Minimator Tutorials. This is a tutorial I'm going to do about rendering your videos. So let's go ahead and open up an animation you would like to render. Uh, I have an old one from the beta 0.3 folder and you're saying, well, dude, you can't open those. You can't even save those, but you can because David updated Minimator to beta 0.5.1, which can... Um, save and edit the old beta files from 0 0.3 so fear not your animations are not lost so let's press play let's show you this amazing stuff <laughs> this is what I made the first day I had my animator this is a very cherished animation to me alright so let's move back to the beginning make sure to save your animation before exporting it and we're gonna go up here to export as movie which will render the entire animation as an AVI file let's go ahead and click that uh, let's save over Minor Madness. Yes, I would like to overwrite this file. Choose the codec to use. These will differ depending on what's installed on your computer. You are strongly advised not to pick any options marked uncompressed. So we will not. We will pick Microsoft Video 1. And we will click OK. We're not going to configure. We're not going to do anything like that. We're just going to click OK. And then we're going to click OK. Alright, we're going to let it start. And we're actually going to go check on something on my YouTube page. YouTube. No, I'm not signed in. So let's see what's on the U from YouTube. We've got Barack Obama versus Mitt Romney. Conan exclusive. Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, Taylor Swift. Sandeep. Something. 600 pound Marlin jumping. Wow, that'd be kind of cool. Charlie the Robot Gangnam Style. Unlock 007 in you. Uh, compost fueled cars, intuition and equilibrium. Um, how to pick up a girl. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, let's go check back on our. Oh, it finished. Would you like to open it? Yes, I would. Uh oh. Oh no. It's. It's... shoot. Shoot. I'm just joking. It worked. Actually, it didn't work. And it didn't work because you... Did, you broke the cardinal rule of rendering with this program. So let's go ahead and do this. Minor. It worked. Let's click save here. Blah, 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 blah. We already read that, but... A lot of you are probably not reading this. It says the program will now start running through your animation and save. Do not exit or minimize minimizer dur minimi minimator. During this process, you see the progress at the top of the window. So click OK. At this point, do not click out of this window. Do not Alt Tab out of this window. I wouldn't even click on the screen um, because if by doing so, <clears throat> it messes up the recording. Um, codec, recording software, whatever you want to call it, and it records a black screen. So if you've got a long animation and you don't want to sit here and watch it, tough. Um, you're going to want to go do something else. Don't touch your computer. Even if you got two monitors, I have two monitors. If I click to my second monitor, it's going to record a black screen because I technically alt-tabbed out of the program. Um, so you've just got to bear it, watch it, or leave the room while it works. Um, I'd even turn off virus scan programs, things like that, because anything that might kind of cause a quick jump in your CPU usage on your computer might even cause some lag spots in the recording. So let's see if it worked. All right, we're playing. Oh, it worked. No black screen, and we have our animation. Very nice. So that's I'm guessing the major issue that people are doing they are minimizing all tabbing out clicking around just getting bored and it's causing the screen to record black um, now in a rare case sometimes I've I've only had it happen once or twice when I save my animation and it's because when I saved it um, you can change the compression quality, you can go configure and change the temporal quality ratio, um, but I myself have not noticed a difference in the rendered video. Um, and I mean, you can mess around with it, and sometimes when you change the settings off of the default ones, it will record it out 
and it uh, when you go to open it, it says you know Windows Media Player cannot read this file, and you have to close it. If that ever happens, um, go ahead and use. Oh, so even if I press cancel, it's gonna act like it's recording, although it's actually not. So we're just gonna go ahead. No, and close. If you ever get it where your um, your videos are not working, then and it and it's got a file size, but it's just not letting you open it with Windows Windows Media Player. Go ahead and download a program called Handbrake. This it's a free program, and this is the one I use to compress all of my videos. Um, from AVI to MP4 because AVIs are just too big to upload to YouTube so I convert them to MP4s. So even if you can't view it, it's got file size, you know there's something there and it's an AVI file, um, you can go ahead and add it here, compress it to an MP4 and then you will be able to use it. So um, that is how you correctly render your um, animations just to recap, do not alt tab out, do not click out, don't click around on the screen, don't minimize it, don't do anything. Let it do its thing and um, wait because it will render and you will not have a black screen. So folks, um, I will be trying to keep up on this tutorial series one video a day, hopefully. Um, the next video coming out will be a part two of new features because there are a couple things I failed to miss. And on Wednesday, I'm going to be doing a personal interview over Skype with uh, the creator of mine, Amanda David Norgren. Um, that's going to be cool. Look for that. And if you've got anything you can't figure out or just need help with, go ahead and post it on the David's website, Stuff by David forward slash Um I usually scroll down a couple pages of posts there. Um, so if I don't see it there, feel free to comment on this video or any other one of my videos and I will try to help you out. So this is Skidoo, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys later.